<laughs> that is incredible. Annie, that's just like the one we saw in the magazine. Mm -hmm. Do you like it, Dad? Well, what is that? Is, is that dollars? Twelve hundred dollars? Beloved, my master, this is a very reasonable price for a cake of this magnitude. A cake franc is made of flour and water. My first car didn't cost twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> Welcome to the 90s, Mr. Bong. <laughs> Morning shootout with the two Peters. <laughs> <laughs> when you play a role as an interviewer or as a critic, you know, when, you, when everybody does that, do you expect the person to be funny or what they're saying to be funny? In other words, the idea. When Jimmy interviews someone? Yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, and I think the best people, uh, the best interviews that, 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 uh, that he's done in, in that character's career would be the people who treat him as if he's a real force serious. to be reckoned with. Right. Real yeah. serious. If they, if they try to be funny, then it becomes bananas on bananas. Mm -hmm. But it really is, it should be, and I think in comedy in general, you know, you can go as broad as a character like Frank and Father of the Bride, and if mm -hmm. it looks like you're trying to be funny, okay. if you're, then people won't laugh. If you sincerely look like you're the real guy that exists in the world, then they'll observe you and say, my God, he's mad. Mm -hmm. Because characters... Yeah. Are, f are all throughout our society. You go and pick up your shirts at the cleaners. Well, not you, but your staff. <laughs> and and they, they'll see someone who is dressed insanely saying, you did not start today. <laughs> and he really exists. That's where he lives, you know. So, and yet, if you introduce that character in Saturday Night Live, you, you might be too broad. Now, what was Frank's actual country of origin? Well, you know, that wasn't well determined. <laughs> because he had, it, it was like he was so pretentious. He had summered in Prague, he would wintered in, in London, and uh, so sometimes he'd say ya, yeah, and sometimes he'd say ya. Yeah. Yes. It wouldn't matter, also, because I couldn't remember what I'd said, so there was no <laughs> consistency. Was, I remember when the first, when the, after, the, we, we, after the first week of dailies, David Hoberman, who was the head of Touchstone then, phoned me up and he said, and I'd already done some films at Disney, so we knew each other, and he went, well, <laughs> it looks like you're having a lot of fun. And I said, so you hate it. I didn't know I didn't say that. It just, it's, it's, it's out there. And what we had deliberately done to make sure that that wasn't, the, you know, wouldn't be a problem is that we had notched it up. We'd done like lots of takes and every take would be a little higher so that you could mix this spice in this film. And they ended up going top end anyway. That's great character. That's oh, one, of, one of your best. Thank you. Really. I thought you were great in inner space. You know, Spielberg. I love always that film. Lo always thought you were the perfect actor for that picture. You know? I love that film. That was a great film. Yeah. Unfortunately, it came out at just the wrong time and just didn't catch the audience. There, there's a case of a difficult release, big release, Fourth of July Spielberg yeah. film. Mm -hmm. Didn't connect the same way. Well, you know, now that it's uh, 20 years later, I'm going to tell you, Peter, it was a bad poster. <laughs> it was a bad poster. You had the, you had that little, what was it? It was a through a, a thumb. <laughs> a thumb. What is this? Is it Russ Tamlin's movie? <laughs> this was a, what, what about faces? People out there. Granted, no one cared about our faces. What about Clint Eastwood's face? Put him in there. That's right. <laughs> and, then don't, and then he's not in the movie. No one cares. Toronto. <clears throat> you, you take a picture to the Toronto Film Festival. Yes which makes fun of Toronto, makes fun of festivals, makes fun of interviewers, makes fun of movie stars. Is this self-destructive Canadian behavior? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Canadians are used to having uh, you people, being the Americans, uh, make fun of us. Right. You know, we do it. We're just used to it. But, uh, you know, the film doesn't really make fun of Toronto as much as probably shows like uh, Access Hollywood and Entertainment, right? the short kind of obsessive celebrity shows that, that need to know who's hot, who's not, every second. When you do a movie, that, that's a, a comedy movie, and you put yourself out there, do sometimes do you say to yourself, hey, when you're making the film, is this funny? Is it really funny? Or do you completely trust yourself when you put yourself into a movie like that? The odd thing about comedy is that it's completely subjective. What's a, a comedy that you might see and find hilarious, you might just say, it's, I couldn't be more bored. And I don't think either one is right. I think it's just a personal thing. So particularly yeah. when you make odder out there, stranger comedies, you're going to get a passionate reaction and you're going to you get a reaction of hatred. Well, when you just made it. Hence my career, there. hence me being here. <laughs> I think if I was a solid hit, I'd, I'd have been a little bit of this. We're back with Marty. Now, Jimmy always asks profoundly misdirected questions. Right. Is, is this. 
This, I take it, is by, is by indirection. I mean, he doesn't intend to be stupid. He just is naturally stupid. Well, you know, Jimmy, to me, is, is p people often think that I'm, I'm satirizing interviewers, and I'm really not. What I'm satirizing are morons with power. <laughs> and, uh, Don't look at me. <laughs> not you. You're some of those I love people working for each you. Other. <laughs> I thought I was talking about each of you. <laughs> but, no, no, morons with power. You flip around daytime television, and you see morons with power, you know? And so that's what, that's what Jiminy is. Jiminy could work for the president. Mm. He could work for, uh, uh, he could be definitely like a principal of a school, you know. Yeah. He just happens to be, uh, but I mean, he would, like if he was talking to Bill Clinton, he wouldn't ask about Monica Lewinsky. He'd say, should Suzanne Plachette work more? Because that's what he cares about. <laughs> he doesn't care about the other stuff. So can we ask Jiminy some questions? I mean, he's always asking questions. Seems Absolutely. To me. Peter I, Bart, Hollywood I, Reporter, a power base. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. That's Jiminy. He's reported here first tonight. He's Absolutely. moving. Absolutely. <laughs> Jiminy, I, I want to tell you, I loved your performance on Broadway in Steel Magnolias. Thank you very much. It was fun to finally do hair properly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's color blue, brave. Do you think Joan Rivers should work more? I do think Joan. I think Joan is what, what I love about Joan is that she's had the guts to age slowly and properly. <laughs> a lot of these people are all getting nips and tucks and different things altered and suctioned. And Not this, Joan. That's her bravery. So what do you think about Jack Nicholson and Peter Fonda doing a remake of Easy Rider? Oh, I'd love to see that. Especially that scene where Jack smiles and the hunk of makeup falls off. <laughs> I'd, love to see, I'd love to see him see how fast he could catch it. And just to let Peter know that he's somewhere. <laughs> now, there was a story in the papers yesterday about a Russian doctor who specializes in deformed penises. Do you yes, think, I know him. Do you think that this could be, this could be a good return for Richard Chamberlain? <laughs> Richard Chamberlain is a wonderful, you know, he's the father of three and the mother of two, but people don't tell him. <laughs> Richard Chamberlain, yes, well, listen, I mean, I've, I don't know his penis like obviously you do. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you two in Hawaii together? I've always wanted to ask you that, never had the guts. I've always hoped you'd write about that in The Hollywood Reporter, but Actually. you did. <laughs> Actually, I was in Hawaii with Bernie Brillstein. He was a much better company. Yes, and however, same shape penis. <laughs> now, Bernie actually, Jiminy, was a producer of this picture. Are you kidding me? Did he do anything? No wonder the, the, the release is small. <laughs> okay. Did we... he do anything? No. But did he ever? <laughs> Okay, Hi, you, kid. you ruined that? my makeup. So. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. It's Thank great you, my pleasure to see you. Thanks. Both. Mm -hmm. Pleasure.